people think of the word grandparent, it is often connected to another word, retirement. It seems like there's a memo going around that when we get older, we have to slow down. But let me tell you about a lady who disregarded that memo. Her name is Mavis Albin, and she's a grandmother of eight. Instead of trading in her heels for a pair of comfy slippers, she bought some Nikes and hit the gym. Since childhood, she dreamed of playing basketball, and at 55, those dreams came true. She began playing for the Baton Rouge Tigerettes, a team of charming Southern Bells, all grandmothers. Now at 76 years old, she's shooting for her eighth gold medal at the Senior Olympics. Mavis' refusal to slow down when she reached a certain age should be an inspiring example of how we are to continue to grow as Christians. As followers of God, we never retire, not until we are called home. In fact, as we add years to our lives, we are actually developing as believers, growing in wisdom, holiness, and influence. Solomon wrote about it in Proverbs. Gray hair is a crown of splendor. It is attained in the way of righteousness. The process of sanctification allows us to progress toward holiness as we continue in obedience to the Word of God. That's why so many older folks become great mentors to young believers. If you are someone who is further down the road of life, you're in an ideal position to impart wisdom and encouragement to those who are just starting out on that road. As Christians, we should be proud of our age. The more years we gather, the more motivated we should become to stay on top of our spiritual game and not just sit on the sideline. Think of Mavis and her team of basketball playing seniors. They've got no intention of retiring anytime soon. Our enthusiasm should mirror theirs. So fight the good fight, finish the race, and continue to grow in faith and understanding and consider finding someone young to encourage and mentor for the kingdom. You may be surprised to find that your best years are still ahead of you. I'm Joseph Tkach, speaking of life.